guys, it's Alex here from Teeterbill Racing. I'm here to show you guys how to get a car set up for the Outlaw class. For those that don't know, our Outlaw class is our fastest class. We've done a numerous testing over the past few months and we've came up with a way that we believe is the most safe, reliable, and fast setup for these kids. Our cars in the Outlaw class can be customized any which way, but they must retain a power wheel gearbox. Let's get right to it. So the only way to go fast in a power wheel is with a power wheel 7R gearbox. They can be found in the Ford Mustang power wheels, um, the Corvettes, the Lightning McQueens, uh, I believe even some of the Jeeps have them. But this is what they look like here, they're this style gearbox. You can find out on the back of the gearbox which, what it's geared for. It says right on the back, if you look at the center pin, it'll line up with the numbers of the gear ratio. For example, you know, this, these numbers here line up with the pin for pinion size 18, 19, and 20. This is your factory setup here out of a Power Wheel Ford Mustang. So you're going to want to remove everything from the car and just restart over with all fresh wiring. Here's the shifter here. You can actually remove the shifter and just do away with both switches and just use one of the switches. And I'll get into showing you how to wire that up. Go. So yeah, one of the most important things though that I can't stress enough is switching over your wiring. You need to get the stock wiring out of these power wheels. I believe it's only 14 to 16 gauge. You have to at least put 10 or thicker, 10 gauge or thicker on these cars when you're over bolting them. Um, with that stock wiring, they like to get real hot and catch on fire and that's not very safe for these kids. So this is a programmable electronic speed controller here. You can do 12 to 72 volts with this controller. It's fully tunable. You can plug a, lap, a cable into the laptop and actually tune it and adjust how the speed comes in. And what's really nice about it, it utilizes a real time pedal. You can order these online. We'll add this in the link down below. But these pedals are real nice. It does away with the factory pedal where it's just an on off switch. If you see with these, you can push it a little bit and just cruise or go all the way down. The factory pedal is just an, literally it's just an on off switch. These are a real time zero to 100% pedal. So getting, getting started with wiring up the electronic speed controller. So here is now one stock shifter switch that has been removed from the shifter itself. You're going to take the two middle pins on the shifter switch, the red wire is going to go to the B plus on your controller right here. The black wire that is the other middle pin on your stock shifter switch is going to go to the motor middle. It's going to go to the middle pin that says M for motor. Now we can hook these guys up here. Yeah, they see me in my Lambo, 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 Lamborghini. Lam All right, once you have those hooked up, next, you can do your battery leads. These are gonna be coming from your battery source. The red wire is your positive. It's gonna go to the B plus here. Your black wire is obviously your ground is going to go to the B minus on the controller here. Bagini, they want to be me in my Lambo, 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 Lamborghini skirt fresh and clean. You hear that tune so me. Now once you have those hooked up, let's go over to the shifter switch here. So the four wires left on your shifter switch, you're going to take the black ground, which is your motor ground. And obviously one of these is gonna to go to one of your motors. And the other wire is your power wire for your motor. And it's gonna to go to the power on the motor. I keep it running. And the same for the other one. You'll probably have to tie into these. There's usually a jumper wire that's jumper and over, but you could just run two wires. I would recommend doing away with the stock connector on the shifter switch itself right here. You can do away with this and just repin the whole connector but I'm just showing you for the video just so you get the basic idea of it.
Now these also have just buck connectors on them. I wouldn't suggest using these. Just showing you for the basics for the video. It is best to solder these on. They tend to wiggle around a lot and pop off and it causes a lot of resistance to the motor. And it tends to take a lot of life out of the motor and burn up pretty quickly when they're not soldered on. Catch me. So after you have that hooked up, we're gonna go back over to the controller here. Now these are already cut off here. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like factory. But you're gonna cut the one connector off of the controller here and you're gonna take the red wire from it. This is your ignition switch wire, your key on off for the controller. Now you can just jumper this wire straight to power and have the controller on all the time when you plug the batteries in, but I wouldn't suggest doing that. It's just a safety feature of having the key. And it is cool for the kids that, you know, hey mom, dad, look, I have my own key for my car. So you're gonna take this wire, you're gonna take your key, or it could just be a push button on off. It doesn't necessarily have to be a key, just some sort of on off switch. This will just get wired up. It doesn't matter to which side. And then the other wire is gonna to go to power, which you can run just a wire from here over to the power wire on the ESC. The other connector here, you're gonna cut the factory one off. This isn't the factory one here. The factory one has five wires in it. You can see down in here, the other two are just kind of hanging out. Um, you're gonna take the yellow, the black, and the blue wire and either solder them, you can cut the connector off the pedal and solder them, or they sell a connector kit on Amazon. You can just repin this one. Because most of the time when you order this real-time pedal here, it comes already pinned with this connector. So it makes it nice, you can just plug it in, boom, it's nice and clean. You know, this will be hooked up to your key here. But after that, pretty much, you, you, you put your pinions on your motors here. We have the 20 tooth. This ride off road, I break on them curves and hit swerves like Lambo, 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 Lambo. Vroom, vroom. Take Once you have your pinions on and tight, now grab your gearbox and put it in the gearbox. You're also going to need bigger screws for these, which you can find at your local hardware store. The 775 motors, just they're a bigger thread pitch than the factory 550 motors. But a lot of times, too, you'll just have to ream out this hole a little bit here. Got like a stallion. Zoom, zoom, all this leather Italian. Baby girl, hop inside. Buckle up, better hold on tight. I'm going to take it on a ride. Ride, ride, ride. Once you have your motors nice and tight, you can go ahead and put your wires on for your motors. Now that everything is plugged in, it's ready to go. All you have to do is plug in your battery of choice, which is a LiPo battery here. Plug that in here and essentially hit the gas and you're good to go.